Good day everyone. We are here to present our research entitled Teachers Proficiency in ICT, Working the Niche Towards ICT Trainings in Amadeo Cavite. I am Cecilia A. Caraan, Teacher 3 of Halang Banaybanay National High School in Amadeo Cavite and with is my co-author Dr. Amelita P. Peñalba, Public Schools District Supervisor of Municipality of Treasure Marjorie City in Cavite. Computer literacy in the 21st century isn't just a simple dilemma, but it will be an issue of dealing with learners who are digital natives. In our modern world and in the future, computer literacy is just as important as living with it. Previously, computer use and techniques were not necessary. Not all teachers owned their own computers and most computers were used as a tool on the job only. Today, every teacher's own computer and everyone have an active account in Facebook or Twitter or at least an email address. Computer is indeed a vital part of education and are used in school for many applications such as writing papers or searching the internet for information. According to Gabby Fur et al. 2015, teachers should use technology to support them, not replace them. This is true because information communications technology, technological innovations increase percentage of learning. Therefore, introducing new technologies to teachers is a must and training is needed. Professional development and support for teachers are essential if the schools and countries want to reap the benefits that ICT can provide. The United Nations Educational Scientific and Cultural Organization or UNESCO 2019 argues that ICT can help to enhance the quality of education with advanced teaching methods, improve learning outcomes, and enable reform or better management of education system. Infodev.org said that ongoing training and professional development helps motivate teachers to use the equipment they are provided with efficiently and can help them explore innovative new pedagogical practices. Also, Dr. Mike Rapatan of the La Salle University, Manila, said that we need to mold the learners through global comp competitiveness through teaching K-12 standards using ICT. To address the needs of the learners to be computer literate and to maximize the computer use and give them techniques, the Department of Education issued DepEd Order Number 1 Series of 2007 on Strengthening the Information Communications Technology Governance. The order mentioned the major components in ICT education, which is teacher development. This study focused on answering the following questions. First, what is the demographic profile of the respondents in terms of gender? age, school, position or designation, subject taught, and years in service. Second, what is the level of proficiency of respondents as to basic computer operational skills? Third, what is the level of proficiency of the respondents as to specific computer skills and ICT integration? And lastly, what innovation or program can be proposed to enhance the proficiency level of the respondents? The study focused on identifying the teacher's proficiency in ICT of the elementary and high school teachers in the municipality of Amadeo in the division of Cavite covering the school year 2019-2020. The criteria used in determining the level of proficiency is divided into two categories, the basic computer skills and the specific computer skills in ICT integration. Teachers should have basic skills in using computer 
because the data will be collected using a tool which will be answered via Google Sheets online. This research is written with honesty and integrity. Both sides of the authors were solicited and considered. And to ensure confidentiality, all personal responses, suggestions, and personal perceptions of the respondents will be kept in private. Stratified sampling was used in this study. The teachers of the District of Amadeo, who are 128 teachers, was divided into subgroups or strata. The elementary teachers, 48, and the secondary teachers, 80, who all teaches and uses ICT integration. And there were a total of 96 teachers who responded on the study. After data collection, data are all tab tabulated. Here is the demographic uh, of the respondents. We, ha we have 48 respondents in the elementary and 48 in the high school, with a total of 96, 16 male and 80 female. Table 1 shows the descriptive data analysis of the responses of the basic operational skills of the teachers. The table showed that the mean of pain was 1.35, which is the mean of the teacher of the district of Amadeo, and were proficient in terms of basic computer skills, such as keyboarding, mouse and touchpad manipulation, and internet browsing. Table 2 shows descriptive data analysis of the responses for advanced computer skills and ICT integration. Only 